Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we were testing every single mask that we can find in the world. Talking today about one of the most highly requested masks that we get to review. And I've actually reviewed like 10 of them, but they were all like user submissions. People were like, uh, I think this mask is fake. Can you please review it? Uh, so I went ahead, I saw this at Home Depot. And so I bought it and we'll talk more about that in a second, but let's get it in our clamper and get going. This is the 9210 Aura, probably a, the surgeon's favorite. This is the consumer version of the consumer's favorite or the uh, surgeon's favorite mask. And I should know, not because I'm a surgeon, but because I'm in a lab coat. And you know, that's what they tell people. In lab, they, I'm on the inside track is what I'm trying to say. And let's let her rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. I am doing the N95 test here because this is the preeminent N95. I mean, 3M is the giant that every mask manufacturer is basically copying in the world. We're, we're all copying 3M in some way. They invented most of this tech. Um, and this is their top mask. They, this is the one that they uh, adapted for consumers. Uh, let's take a look um, at the listing real quick. Uh, this is on three. This is on Home Depot's website. You can buy a 10-pack of masks. That's two dollars a piece uh, for uh, 2047. Insane! I love this little box design. I'll show you why in a second. Uh, these are available. You can go to your 3M. You know, remember at, at the peak of the pandemic, this is the mask that people wanted. This mask. There's a there's a one that's made for healthcare, but it's the same mask. Um, the 9205 is the mask of choice, and I'll show you why. Um, so it comes in a 10-pack, definitely made for consumers, individually packaged. It's what they call a fish or a bow tie design, but it's basically a KF94. So for once, 3M was ripping off somebody else. Uh, the only difference is that it has head straps on the back, and that's because all N95s have heads head straps. A couple things unique to 3M is this nose foam. It is insane, the amount of nose foam. And I'm just gonna jump over here real quick. Look at this, 99.8, and the airflow resistance is beautiful. Not the most breathable mask that, that we've tested, but it's, it's up there for sure. All right, I'm gonna put this on. And yes, I'm distracting you with the PFE machine so you can't see how horribly I don these masks. Okay, it goes over the top of the head. Nose wire is amazing. The seal, even with, uh, I mean, it's the KF94 design. It's really good. Even with my beard, I'm getting a great seal on this. And the great thing about this bow tie design is I'm getting all this extra breathable space. So that 124 we saw, it's actually not accurate because I'm only, I'm only testing an area that big. It's actually, you get all this area to breathe in. So it makes it super easy to breathe. Um, I actually prefer the duck bill style uh, more now, but um, this is super breathable. It's a great mask. The one thing I don't like about it, I mean that, you know, it looks great. It's got a great head strap. Construction's amazing, phenomenal. But the nose foam smells horrible. It smells absolutely horrible. For me, whatever glue they're using for this is like, it, it's, I, I mean, I'll tell you because we actually made a, uh, a KF90 or a KN95 because it was highly requested from our customers. This is a 3M uh, nose foam. That's a little bit different, but the glue smell is like tiny. I can smell it and it annoys me. It's the only mask we have that has like a, a slight smell to it, but this is unbearable for me. I cannot wear this mask. That's me. Protect the hell out of you though. Let's look at the final numbers here. 99.868. Breathability off the charts. You can get this thing for two bucks. Oh, by the way, it's made in the United States. So allegedly, uh, the uh, 3M used something like $160 million they got from the US government to stand up operations here. And they claim to be able to make 90 million of these per month. We don't know where, 3M is very secretive. Um, but that's insane, 90 million of these things per month. The fabric, which is also their fabric because they are vertically integrated, but the fabric and the foam and all the, all the pieces of the mask, those are actually made in China. And then they ship that over and then they assemble it here. So it's assembled in the United States, uh, but is not wholly made. And it says that right on the box. They're not trying to hide that or anything. 
3M, great product. I mean, from a manufacturing standpoint, hard to beat 3M at that game. Uh, I question some of their political motives, uh, but it is a good mask. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your time and attention. We did it. We reviewed the 9205. Are you excited? Don't send me any more, people. I don't want any more 9205s. I refuse to review them and, and tell you if they're fake or not. I don't know. Figure it out for yourself. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you on that next test.